this is the Angel Hug for Tuesday, December the 10th, and I'm picking a card from the Secret Language of Colour deck, and I'm asking, um, where should our hearts and minds be this week? When we, as we approach the end of the year, what is it that we need to be bringing our focus to? And the card I've got here is Regenerate Your Body, which is perfect because I know that a lot of us have been really going all out and working very hard, not only on the material physical plane, but also working uh, emotionally, energetically, mentally, and setting our intentions and being very, very clear and very thorough and very um, driven about what we want to achieve. So really, it's time now. I know it's early, we're not near anywhere near Christmas or you know, celebra celebrating the big holidays, the new year. Um, but really it's a time to start thinking of how we take care of our bodies, whether we are resting enough, whether we are treating ourselves well enough to be able to really regenerate and restore ourselves in preparation for a new year because it's going to be a very, very big year. It's going to be a very important year. I remember at the beginning of this year that we were saying it was going to be a very big year for healing and I know it has been a huge year for so many of us. Look at who you were at the beginning of this year and look at yourself now. I know, you know, personally, and I know for a lot of the people that I work with it's been a huge year but I also see it on a collective level and I see it among a lot of people I don't know and, and I don't work with. I, I just see people transforming um, immensely and I also see um, systems being healed and attitudes being healed and I see us coming together much more and healing our own uh, sense of frustration and resentment about some of the things that are happening, healing those things by coming up with solutions. So that's beautiful. So, okay, I'm going to ask, and I'm just going to pick the next card that was on the top. Um, what can we do that will help us to begin to regenerate, apart from resting, becoming aware that the year is starting to slow down now? What else do we need to do that will help us to regenerate ourselves in preparation for an amazing and exciting year? Next year feels like a big year of transition, a big year of change, big changes personally, collectively. So whereas it's been a question of healing and a lot of internalized uh, shifting and, uh, and coming up a level, it's really gonna be the year in 2014 that we decide what we're gonna do with all of that change, what we're gonna do with all the transformation that we've been through. Okay, so activate your healing power. That's amazing. Right, so I'm gonna add to regenerate your body Activate the power within you that allows you to be your greatest healer. We've had this before and I really feel that the message that's being given to us by the cosmos is remember that you are your own greatest healer. And sometimes the way to regenerate your body is just to rest, but it's important to also remember that if we're gonna rest, don't waste that time. Ask for the angels to give you a deeper rest, to give you a regenerative rest, to heal your body, your heart, your mind, your spirit and your soul while you sleep and to bring all of your energy bodies back together. Ask that you're not going out on uh, all these missions on the inner planes and in the non-physical realm. Ask that you have at least one or two nights Three nights, my guide is saying, three nights. They always say uh, in Buddhism, if you need to make a deci decision, three days of contemplation. Um, so maybe there is something about that number of days that really brings a shift. So ask for three nights. I really want to rest, have a deep rest. I want my body to be restored and regenerated now. I want to feel my entire being coming together in healing and in a restorative way, in a way that gives back to me. So you can ask for that. That and do that for three nights and see how you feel because we have been working very hard and I'm going to pick one more card from the Archangels deck that will give us a message that will help us to prepare for the year ahead. Peace. And the message says, peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So it's also a day to let go of anywhere that we're holding on to any resentments, any um, anger, any bitterness at all. And I'm gonna say at this point, because 
I have to mention this. I don't often mention world events or things that come up or people's passings, but I know I have to mention uh, Mr. Mandela because he was such an icon of how things can be worked out peacefully and of how successfully we can achieve our aims in a peaceful way without holding on to resentment, without holding on to hurts and bitterness. And we are talking about a lot of hurt. We're talking about a lot of cruelty and injustice that was enjoyed for such a very long time and today is a really really important day for us all to remember that when we do feel resentment and anger and we're not forgiving it actually ultimately only hurts us so it's time to let that go as well to search your body heart mind soul for where you might be holding some kind of anger that will stick to you and and you know hold you in a pattern that really degenerates the body that will make you you know just uh, pent up with all those poisons so release them let them go let the thoughts go let the frustration go and move into a nice clear clean year when you can begin to see a really bright positive future because we've worked hard for it and, um, and it's time to reap the rewards. And um, God bless you, Mr. Mandela. And uh, I've just dropped all my cards on the floor there. So I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna read anything into that. And thank you everyone for watching. I'll be back tomorrow for tomorrow's Angel Hug. Have a great Tuesday. Bye. So